Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affairs series in which what we do we daily discuss your MCQs from current affairs perspective. So today is 18 November so let's see what are the questions of today. So the first question is Dropath is the oldest surviving classical style of Hindustani vocal music. Second, a dropad is introduced by a slow tempo at rather sober and uh, sober and controlled recurrent set of syllables, non words known as an alp. So we have to choose that which of uh, the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that uh, answer is C. Both are correct. So Dropad is the oldest surviving classical style of Hindustani mu uh, uh, vocal music. So it is very important. So short statement one is correct. So its, uh, draw, uh, its name is derived from the uh, Dhruva Pada simply mean, uh, meaning refrain. And today denotes uh, both a form of poetry and a style of music in which poetry is sung. So extra knowledge is that recently Dropad Master and Padma Shri Vadi Ramakant uh, Gundecha, 56 pa years old, passed away. So he was the younger one of the Gundecha brothers. So Gundecha brothers are Indian classical singers of the Dropad genre of Dagarwani, Dagarwani and they are also the founders of Gurukul Dropad Sansthan in Bhopal. So uh, Gundecha brothers belong to Dagri, uh, uh, Dagri Gharana. So Dagar family uh, sings in Dagarwani. Their style puts great emphasis on Alp. Now let's move to the next question. Next is which of the following statements are correct about places of worship Act 1991? First, the act declares that the religious character of a place of a worship shall continue to be same as it was on August 15, 1947. Second, the act apply, does not apply to the place of worship commonly referred to as Ram Janma Bhumi, Babri Masjid in Yodhya. Third, the act provides for imprisonment up to 20 years and a fine for anyone contravening the prohibition. So we have to choose that which of these statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that only first two statements are correct. So the answer should be A. So act declares uh, that the religious character of the places of worship uh, shall continue to be same as it was on August 15, 1947. Uh, so uh, statement one is correct but there is one exception to it that is of uh, Ram Jan Bhumi Babri Masjid in Ayodhya. So this uh, act does not apply to it. So second statement is also correct and but for penal provisions are there. So penal prison, uh, provision is that uh, anyone who uh, tries to change uh, the status of uh, uh, a place of worship uh, um, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to another form then, uh, then uh, it was pre prevailed uh, uh, as on uh, 15 August 1947 then uh, he will uh, if he could face an, an, an imprisonment up to three years and a fine for, uh, for anyone contravening the prohibition. So statement three is incorrect. Correct. So in recent judgment of Ayodhya, uh, the Supreme Court commented that enactment of places of worship Act 1991 uh, as one that uh, preserved the constitutional value of secularism by not perm permitting the state of, uh, status of a place of worship to be changed. So objective is to freeze the status of any place of worship as it existed on August 15, 1947 and also to provide for maintenance of, uh, of the religious character of such a place of worship as on that day. So preempt new claims by any group about the past status of any place of worship and attempts to reclaim the structures on the land on which they stood. So uh, this uh, this will uh, basically this this will preempt any attempt uh, by any group uh, which could claim that they, uh, this particular place was earlier a temple or a mosque or some other place of worship. So now let's move on to the next question. Next is question three. Recently, the World Health Organization launched the first ever insulin pre-qualification program to expand access to life-saving treatment by, uh, for diabetes. So we have to choo uh, choose which of the following statements are not are not correct. Please note the word not correct. First is the World Health Organization is an intergovernmental organization that is concerned with international public health. Second, it is headquartered in New York. Third, it was founded in 1995. Fourth, it is a specialized agency of United Nations. So we have to uh, choose that which of these statements is are correct. 
let me tell you friends that uh, uh, only first and fourth statement is correct yes who is an intergovernmental organization that is concerned with international public health so this statement is quite easy uh, so who you might be aware of the fact that yes it is uh, a specialized residency of un so the answer is uh, b uh, second and third statement is not correct because who headquarters is in geneva uh, switzerland it is and it is not in new york so please note it it is very important and then world uh, health organization uh, uh, is a specialized agency for health and was founded in 1948 so statement 3 is also incorrect so extra knowledge is that who has recently launched the first ever insulin pre qualification program to expand access to life saving treatment for diabetes so these medicine program will contribute to increasing access to critical medical products in low and middle income countries and now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements first bahuna a mythology based uh, theatrical performance is a traditional form of entertainment with religious messages prevalent in uh, assam india so here is a typing mistake friends that is in uh, it should be prevalent in assam india second is the uh, bhanuas are uh, written in the assamese and uh, brajavali language so uh, third statement is uh, the uh, bahuna uh, the, the plays of bahuna are popularly known as ankia nats and uh, their staging as uh, bahuna so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that all of these statements are correct so the answer is d so more explanation is here so bahuna it is a basically mythology based theatrical uh, uh, performance uh, it is a traditional form of entertainment that is prevalent uh, in assam india so uh, it carries religious ma uh, message with it obviously it is mythology based uh, theatrical performance so certainly uh, certain uh, certain religious uh, message will, will be there so sutradhar narrates the play and uh, narrator well, basically the narrator who narrates the play is uh, is referred to as Sutra. Brother, and he sings verses from holy texts. So songs and music also are part of it. So it is a creation of Shankar. They were written in the early 16th century. So he created the form to convey religious messages to villagers through entertainment. So plays of Bahuna are popularly known as uh, uh, Ankia Nats, and their staging is known as Bahuna. So it is generally staged at Satras and Namgads in uh, Assam. So Bahunas are written in Assamese and Brajavali languages. So uh, extra knowledge is that recently three siblings from Sonitpur district uh, in Assam uh, directed and performed an English bhavana in Abu Dhabi to connect with a global audience not conversant with Assamese. Now let's move to the next question. Next is uh, uh, consider the following statements. First statement is a gravaster is a hypothetical stylish astronomical body that's uh, that, uh, that that's basically composed of a ball of exotic matter thought to be much like uh, dark energy with a shell of normal star matter surrounding it on all sides uh, second is from the outside it would look quite small to a black hole but gravesters do not have an event horizon so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so the answer will be c that is both are correct so uh, in detail is explanation is th uh, this gravaster is basically an object that is hypothesized in astrophysics as an alternative to the black hole theory um, that was given by Meza and Matola and uh, there are no observational evidences for its uh, existence till day so gravaster is a portmanteau uh, of the wo uh, word uh, gravitational vacuum star so gra uh, gravaster is hypothetical starish astronomical body that's basically Composed of ball of exotic matter, uh, which which is thought to be much uh, much like dark energy, with a shell of normal star matter surrounding it on all sides. So the exotic core in this hybrid body would prevent the collapse of the normal matter into a traditional black hole, essentially keeping the whole thing inflated. So the, from the outside, it would look like uh, look quite similar to a black hole, but gravesters do not have an event horizon. So photons can technically get stuck in a near infinite orbit around the outside, called a light ring. So according to some scientists, the universe contains not just black holes but many exotic subjects, objects such as gravesters and boson stars which are black hole mimickers. Now let's move to the next uh, question. Next is Andhra Pradesh accounts for more than 65% of the production of chili in the country. Second, Guntur, Ch Guntur Chilies is a group of um, 
chili cultivators from Guntu district. So we have to choose that uh, which of the uh, statement is correct. Let me tell you friends that both of these state, uh, statements are correct. So Andhra Pradesh is the leading producer of the chili in the country and Guntur chili is, uh, uh, is basically a, a group of chili cultivators that is based in Guntur district of Andhra Pradesh. So here there is a typing mistake. It, uh, it should be in the D option. It, it should be both are incorrect. Uh, but let me tell you that both the statements are correct. So the answer would be C. So India is among the world's leading producers of chili along with China, Pakistan and Bangladesh. So Andhra Pradesh accounts for more than 65% of the chili production in the country. So Guntur Chilis is a group of chili cultivators from Guntur district. So they are renowned globally and exported to Asia, Canada and Europe. So extra knowledge is Ateja special variety is being sold for 20,000 a quintal even in the August, December low season when chilies are stored in about 100 cold storages in adjoining villages. Now let's move to the next question. Next is Defense Minister Raj Nath Singh inaugurated the Sisri River Bridge on the Pashi Ghat, Rana Ghat, uh, Rohing Road in A. Jammu Kashmir, B. Nagaland, C. Arunanchal Pradesh, D. Uttarakhand. So, friends, answer is C. Arunanchal Pradesh. So, Defense Minister uh, recently inaugur inaugurated this Siri River Bridge. Uh, in Arunanchal Pradesh in East Kiang, Siang district, so Northeast Industrial Corridor. Uh, uh, is, uh, so uh, this Defence Minister has announced that government is planning to set up a North South uh, Northeast Industrial Corridor with Arunanchal Corridor acting as a bridge between India and Southeast Asia, so as to provide uh, employment opportunities and promote trade and tourism in the region. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, pneumonia is a form of acute respiratory infection that affects the lungs. Second, pneumonia is caused by a number of infectious agents including viruses, bacteria and fungi. Uh, third is pneumonia caused by bacteria can be treated with antibiotics. Fourth is November 18 has been observed as uh, World Pneumonia Day to raise awareness about the infection. So we have to choose that which of these statements are correct. Let me tell you friends, the only first three statements are correct. Uh, so pneumonia is basically, it is a form of acute respiratory infection. It affects lungs, so it is caused by a number of infectious agents, including viruses, bacteria and fungi. So uh, bacteria, pneumonia uh, caused by bacteria can be treated with antibiotics. So the answer should be B. Uh, so extra knowledge is that uh, fourth statement is incorrect, but because uh, November uh, 12 has been observed as World Dominion Day and not on November 18. So uh, more details are here. You can check about it by pausing the video. So there are many many causes of pneumonia. It is caused by a number of infectious agents including viruses, bacteria and fungi and most common are uh, strepto, uh, strepto Cocos, streptococcus pneumonia and the most common cause of bacterial uh, bacterial pneumonia in children and then prevention is it can be prevented by immunization adequate nutrition and by addressing environmental factors and treatment can also be uh, pneumonia can also be caused by bacteria and uh, the such type of pneumonia can be cured by using antibiotics now let's move to the next question next is union home minister shri amit shah launched the first winter grade diesel outlet for ladakh region consider the following statement about it. First, it will help to address the problem faced by people due to loss of fluidity in diesel fuel during extreme bad uh, winter conditions. Second, this winter grade uh, uh, diesel will not only smoothen the travel and transportation during peak tourist season in extreme cold, but will also help in giving a boost to tourism and supply needs of the people of the region and helping in the overall economic development. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is or are not correct so you have to here choose that uh, which of the above is not correct so friends let me tell you that both of these statements uh uh, are uh, are uh, they are both incorrect? So the answer is D. Neither of them is uh, uh, neither of them is incorrect. So both of them both both these are correct. So um, both uh, statements are 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 not correct. Correct. So it is causing also confusion to me. Which of the following statements are not correct? So here you have to tell that which of the following are not correct. For friends, both of them are correct. So obviously answer should be D. Neither of them are not correct. Not, neither of them is incorrect. So both are correct. So the answer should be D. Yes. So the winter grade diesel is produced by uh, Panipat Refinery of State Run Indian Oil Corporation Limited and it has a, a power point of 33 degrees uh, minus 33 degrees Celsius. It does not lose its fluidity function even in extreme weather, win, extreme winter weather of the region. 
unlike the normal grade of diesel which becomes exceedingly difficult to utilize so this winter grade diesel will not only smoothen the travel and transportation during peak tourist season in extreme cold but also will uh, help in giving a boost to tourism and supply needs of the people of the region and helping in the overall economic development and now let's move to the last question of the day last question is consider the following statements first while the office of cgi is now under rti's uh, ambit the cba is exempt uh, second the ngos uh, substantially financed by government fall within the ambit of rti uh, third public authority uh, is defined uh, in section 2 sub clause h of the right to information act 2005 so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that all of these statements are correct so the answer should be d all are correct so supreme court uh, laid down ngos uh, that ngos which receive considerable finances from government or are essentially dependent upon government fall under the category of public authority so they must be uh, uh, must be assumed as public authority defined under section 2 sub clause h of the right to information act 2005 so this means that they have to disclose vital information ranging from finances to hierarchy to decisions to functioning to the citizens so then also supreme court has recently held that office of chief justice of india is also public authority under the rti act so while the office of cji is now under rti's gambit cbi is exempt so cba is an exemption so this is quite uh, disturbing also so extra knowledge uh, uh, more about it you can read that uh, public authority is defined under section 2 sub clause h of the rti act which says that public authority means that any authority or body or institution of self government established or constituted by or under the constitution second by uh, any uh, sorry by any other law made by parliament by any other law made by state legislature or by notification issued or made by the appropriate governments appropriate government and include any body on controlled or substantially fine financed uh, and non governmental organization substantially financed directly or indirectly by from funds provided by the appropriate government so friends this is all about today's discussion so discussion has gone quite lengthy because questions were very lengthy so all but they all they were also important and they were uh, you might have seen they are of the upsc standard so if you like these questions if you like the video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also we, uh, you can uh, join our telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box so on this telegram channel we have more than 14000 subscribers so you can be part of them and can uh, by joining this uh, telegram channel you can get various public resources um, uh, relating to csc that we share in this channel so this is all about today's video if you have any doubts queries you can mail or contact us at following contact details that are given to you or mail details that are given to you so this is all about today's video do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead